Hi, Russ of Aquamax Pets here. Today's video is a response to a comment about various Porcellulavis and Porcellulavis-like isopods. Now let's address the first question, which I believe boils down to which isopods are true Lavis, which can interbreed, and which can't. Both dairy cow and milkback have been determined not to be true Porcellulavis. This had long been suspected by hobbyists, but Please see my video about the research that Nathan Jones has done for more detailed and conclusive information on this topic. Until dairy cow and milkback are officially described, uh, they are now known as Porcelio AFF period lavis or Porcelio X lavis to indicate that they are, the AFF indicates that they are, somehow they have an affinity with the, the species lavis, but they're not that species, or ex lavis, meaning they were once classified as lavis and no longer are classified that way. It has been determined that both milkback and dairy cow can interbreed with each other, and so they must be the same species, and there's more about that in the video that I just referenced. But they cannot interbreed with true Porcelia lavis. I, along with many other hobbyists, tried and failed to cross dairy cow and or milkbacks with Porcelia lavis orange, for example. By the way, P. af. lavis white was derived from dairy cow, so it can successfully interbreed with both milkback and dairy cow. Porcelli lavis california mix, which is a locality that is quite variable in color, is considered to be true lavis, as are P. lavis orange and P. lavis how now. If I understand correctly, P. lavis orange has been crossed with P. lavis how now to produce P. lavis colby jack. It is likely that it can also cross with California mix, though I know of no direct evidence to that effect. P. Lavis Sonoran Desert appears to be a particular locality of wild type P. Lavis, but I haven't tried to cross it with any other forms, and I'm not sure if anyone has tried that yet, so that may be something I'll try in the future to confirm that it is indeed Porcelia Lavis. In reference to the second question from the comment about California mix and whether people have attempted to isolate the different color forms of California mix into their own morphs, I believe that Sean of US Invertebrate LLC has had some success along those lines, and I also recall that Kyle of Roach Crossing has made some efforts to do so as well, and has encountered some unexpected results, leading to the speculation that the color variations in California mix may be a form of heritable pathogen rather than simple genetic inheritance, or at least something along those lines may be involved. Well, both of these people have a lot of experience working with breeding various invertebrates, and so it'll be interesting to see if we can collect more data from more people, what exactly we can document and discover to more thoroughly answer this question. And these were great questions. Thank you for commenting, and I hope that my responses have given you some food for thought and maybe some ideas for future breeding projects. If any of you watching have any more information, on this topic to add, please let us all know about it down in the comments, and thanks for watching. I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesdays, all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.